Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 20th of 2021, well, it is titled Three Perseid Nights. So what do we see here? Well, this is image taken over three nights of the Perseid meteor shower uh, from about a week ago between the August 11th to 13th when it peaked. And that was when we saw a large meteor shower. And you see a number of those meteors here, which occur when Earth passes through the debris left behind by an object like a comet or an asteroid. Now comets, for example, very easily vaporize and we see their long tails when they come close to the sun. However, that debris that is removed from the comet then continues to follow and orbits around the sun in exactly the same path. So as Earth passes through that debris, it actually sweeps up some of it and it strikes Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds and vaporizes. So we are seeing little bits of a comet, in fact, the comet known as Swift-Tuttle, that are vaporizing in Earth's atmosphere here. So all these little streaks are not comets themselves, but a tiny bit of a comet that has been left behind from a previous passage of that comet through the inner part of our solar system. And they may have been orbiting around for hundreds or thousands of years before Earth finally happened to meet up with them and cause the meteor shower. Now they all seem to radiate back so if you were to imagine connecting them or drawing lines with them they would radiate back to the same point in space and that would be around the area of the constellation of Perseus and that is how the Perseid meteor showers or any meteor shower gets their name. They are named based on the area of the sky from which they appear to radiate. Now they really don't come from that point in the sky. They are simply traveling together parallel through space and therefore they appear to converge off in the distance much as telephone poles or railroad tracks will appear to converge off in the distance. They have the same kind of optical effect here. You can also note that Perseus is in the direction of our Milky Way and you can see our Milky Way stretching up uh, diagonally a little bit from the lower left towards the upper right. And that of course is our spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And if you look a little bit to the right of the Milky Way, the bright object there that seems sort of flattened out would be the Andromeda galaxy. So two spiral galaxies within this image, our own Milky Way, as well as the Andromeda galaxy about two and a half million light years away. So that was our picture of the day for August the 20th of 2021. It was titled Three Perseid Nights. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be mutual events. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.